Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Hi, I'm Felicia Paul, uh, CEO, co-founder, creative director of Writing Royalty. Uh, we are based in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, the last time I was on the air live was yesterday. I attended um, a two-day boot camp, an elite mastermind boot camp hosted by my best friend and a very, very astute, I call it very astute businesswoman that's really changing lives. And the information that we learned yesterday was absolutely amazing. The last two days, Friday, Friday evening was the first evening of the event. And for the last couple of days, we've been learning a lot of things. And as a serial entrepreneur, I really have to say that it taught many of us who were there, especially me, a profound lesson. I am from an island, but I am not an island by myself. And... No empire was ever built by one single individual. I'm actually here at home in my home office right now because I'm getting ready to do some work. Um, this information really have me, it has me on fire right now. And I want to light a fire inside a lot of you. Several of us are sitting around and we have these ideas in our minds that we want to take to another level. But fear holds so many people back. For so many reasons, there's a fear of success, the fear of failure, you know, the fear of what are people going to say? This may be one project of many that you've started, but whose business is it? Why do you care what people think? That was something that I dealt with quite a bit. You know, what is, what are people going to say? You know, Felicia, you have kids. But my kids, thank God my kids are grown. But even if my kids were not grown, it's up to me. Last night, I sat with my children and we did report cards, you know, on each other. I said, well, you know, I've been working very hard for a long time. One business after the next. And failure right now, failure doesn't mean anything that dire to me anymore. It just means that I started something and I kept going. Something didn't work and I didn't fall. If I fell, I got up and I moved on and I tried something else. Because that's what, that's what entrepreneurship is about. You start one thing, you do your best. You put a lot of your, all your effort into it. And if it doesn't work, you try something different. So I've been doing that. My latest project has been phenomenal. And you look at me this morning, I have, I have no makeup on. I just literally got up and started working. But I'm committed to doing this, my live four or five times a week now. So whether I have on makeup, whether I'm dressed, I'm going to get it done first thing in the morning. But I want to say this to a lot of you, men and women, because I spend the weekend with both sexes. And the fair that we all have about being entrepreneurs, the fear is real. And sometimes, you know, when I think about the word fear, I'm so much of a control freak that I don't really ever want to, not, not admit, but allow fear to take me over for too long. I'm a human being and it happens, but just like Les Brown said, the acronym for fear is false evidence appearing real. A lot of the times we make up reasons why, we make up reasons to be afraid. And one of the things that I really want everyone to, to, to think about is the people, especially the people in your lives that you are fearful about what they're going to think about you. Money has to be a great motivator for you. And not just money, the freedom and the choices that it brings to you. So when you're thinking about the fear of other people, or what they're going to think, you think about these people. Millionaires and billionaires and successful people really don't have time to think about what others think about them. They have a mission and they're going to get it. And who? Um, Elon Musk. <laughs> I remember reading his bio some years ago and all the trials and tribulations that he went through with all his startups and he was almost dead broke several times and that never stopped him from moving forward with his project. And when he started a Tesla company, 
it was, I mean, he did it on his own dime and almost went bankrupt a couple times. So you stop thinking about what people are thinking about you and just do because the only person that you, you should care about first is yourself. And for me, it's not just myself, it's me and my children, you know, my family, I have two grandkids now and providing for them is of the utmost importance, you know, good morning, honey. How are you? I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm just really focused and I have a lot of people on here now. Um, hi, Karen. Oh my God. That's my nephew in Trinidad and Tobago and a phenomenal young man, such a motivated entrepreneur turning out some amazing products. Now, I don't want to, Mr. Austin, I don't want to butcher your first name. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to attempt it, but hi, how are you? Thanks for joining me. So like the title of my video this morning was, I am from an island, but I am not an island. I surround myself with inspirational people, wealthy people, you know, people who are on a higher level. Good morning, Kim. <laughs> Oh, girl, you missed an amazing event this weekend, but we're having another one coming up very, very soon. Good morning, Denise. How are you? Nice to see you, love. Yeah, so if you have a project in your mind, start getting yourself in a circle of people that can actually motivate you and, and not just to force you to do what you want to do, but you have to be in that, in that atmosphere where it encourages your mind to work and be productive because this weekend we kept saying, Miss, Miss Davis kept repeating a sentence over and over and I took it to completely different. It was mind your own business, but for me it was mine, M-I-N-E, mind your own business. And I am in the process of mining my business. Like if I am literally digging for gold, because I'm in an industry that it is absolutely a niche. I have, I am, I have a niche product and I know my demographic and I am about to mine it for every penny that I can. And if you have a product as well, or you have a service, you may not have a product or service, but the information that we learned this weekend is you don't need to have a product or, or service. All you need to do is pick something that you would love to teach and stay one step ahead of the crowd. That was phenomenal. That was a, so amazing because over the years, there are so many things that I've wanted to teach so many things that I know. And I'm like, I was never too sure that I can do that, but surround yourself with like-minded people. Find yourself a mentor, someone that can coach you and guide you in what you want to, in an area. And if you don't have a passion, you don't have a drive, find someone that can help bring it out of you because we've done it for people before. I've done it for people before. I'm doing it right now with my children. I'm taking that. I'm taking them back to when they were, and I'm going to show you something, something really profound. So follow me here for a second. Uh, my daughter's going to kill me, but last night we had, we had such an amazing conversation and she loves anime. She loves anime and manga. And after the conversation we had last night, you know, I told her, I said, I want you to get yourself back into the mindset when you were, you were an entrepreneur because there was a time when all she cared about was business. And it's very emotional for me walking into her room right now. But I'll show you something. These are her walls. These are her walls in her room. Now, you'll say to yourself, they're very empty. Yes. For the last... I'll say five or six years, her walls have been filled with posters of anime and all her anime characters. And I, and, I, and I mentioned to her, I said, you know something? I said, you understand that you're being programmed subliminally. And I don't want 
to take away your childhood from you. But you're growing up now, and I want you to get back to yourself. I want you to get back to that young woman that was driven to succeed. I said, could you imagine if you had followed through on several of your projects where you would be today? And this morning when I woke up, I went to wake her. She's 17, but I went to wake her up. And I was shocked. I was so shocked when I looked at her room and I saw she had taken down her beloved posters. And it says something to me because last night when I when I graded myself in front of her and her brother, I said, you know, I give myself a D when it comes to how, you know, where I should be in business. I give myself a D. And I said, you know, they asked me why. I said, well, there are a lot of things that I could have done because first I gave myself an F. But I said, you know what? No, I can't give myself an F because I'm waking up at 5.30 in the morning and I'm hitting my projects and... Oh, this weekend taught me that, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm still doing a lot, but there's a whole lot more that I could be doing. Good morning, Katrina. Wow, how are you, chick? Wow, it's great to see you. Hope everything is well with you and your beautiful family. Yeah, so now what I'm going to be doing with my children is, they're 15 and 17, the two younger ones, and we're going to go back to that mind development because from the before they were born with both of them while i was pregnant i played nothing but motivational speaking there was always a les brown there was always a napoleon hill there was always an earl nightingale my children could quote um you know a lot of these inspirational and motivational speakers and it taught them something and i remember you know the fear of a, of a mother not allowing your children to have a childhood is why I think I allow them to be, why I allowed myself to become a little more lax with them and let them have the video games and the, the books. And now I've, it's, it's time, you know, it's time for me to reel them back in because they're wonderful children. I have to say, thank God. I told them every morning I wake up and I thank God for you all because y'all are beautiful kids. Oh, you're still in Dubai. Okay, okay. I, I probably can pay you a visit, my love. <laughs> yeah. So we're getting back there. And, you know, in our community, and everyone that knows me knows that I, I love my heritage. And I'm too multiculturally mixed within myself to be prejudice or racist or anything, but I love my black culture. And for my children, I want to see them step into the, the power that they have. You know, nothing is too good for them. My girlfriend has a, a, an amazing uh, mantra that she has. It's part, of, it's part of her business mission. You can have, be, and do anything that you want to do. And I definitely look at my kids and I look at myself right now and I, and I feel that I believe that. So over the next few weeks and months, I'm going to be coming to you live to do my updates on how my business is going. And I'm going to be doing it with them as well. Because, and if you have children of your own and you want to, um, we're working on forming a youth group. So you can allow your kids to come in to the group with your permission. It's going to be private. My daughter is going to be spearheading that. And they can talk to each other about business ideas that they have and, and have a, have, sort of have like a round table discussions among the youth in the group. And the parents, um, hi Terrence, so I know a lot of the individuals that are, that are part of my Facebook friend group uh, are entrepreneurs as well. And it's just going to be great for us to watch our kids step into their power, you know, step into that realm that evaded most of us until we were grown-ups. I'm very, very excited to see where this is going um, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy, you know, I'm wake up, I'm so happy. So, oh, there, there's my horse. For those of you know that I'm in the horse business. 
I'm in the horse industry. I absolutely love those animals. So if you want to gift me with a horse, my budget just went by. No, I don't want a horse. They're too expensive. I have one already. So everyone, you all have a wonderful Monday morning. You know, for most of us entrepreneurs, thank God we didn't, well, I wake up, I don't wake up by an alarm clock. I am my own alarm clock. But I am about ready to get back to my projects. I'm in my... I'm in my project room. It's a lot of work that I do. So, oh man, I was about to show you all one of my projects that I'm working on, but I can't do any, I can't do any revelations right now because most of the projects that I'm working on are presents for kids. So I want to say thank you all for joining me this morning. I know I probably went on a little bit longer. I wanted to do five minutes max, but sometimes when you're, when the, Spirit moves you to talk about certain things, you just do it. And I wanted to touch a little bit about the conversations that I had with my children. You know, so you all have a wonderful rest of your morning. We're just encroaching on 10 o'clock. Work hard. Um, if you are at your job, you know, you work 9 to 5 at your job, and then you come home and you work 5 to 9 on your dreams. Okay? All right. Well, you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all later. Bye now.